This video is going to demonstrate how to get started with lighting inside of Adobe After Effects. For this, go ahead and open up Adobe After Effects. When After Effects opens, you can click on New Project. It should bring you to this window. If there are any pop-ups, you can close out of them. We will create a new composition. We're going to call this composition Lighting. We will leave the settings as they are. We will click OK. Here we have our composition window, we have our timeline. We need to add the text lighting inside of here. I'm going to choose my type tool, which is up here, and I'm going to type in lighting. I recommend finding a font that you like. Something that is bold or stands out would be pretty good for this. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose my font. When I have it selected, I can move it around, I can resize it however I want. In this case, I'm going to make it stand out a little bit. So didn't want to do that. If I make a mistake, I just press Command Z. So let's say this is the lighting or this is the text layer that I would like to light. What I'm going to do is come down here to where I have my layer and my timeline. Underneath, underneath this 3D cube, I'm going to check the box. This turns it into a 3D layer, which allows me to act as though it's in 3D space which is an X, Y, and a Z axis. Now that I've done that in this blank area underneath that uh, layer, I'm going to go up to New after I right click, and I'm going to choose Light. And I'm going to call this a Spotlight One. That sounds good. There are different types of lighting. and You can see here we have a spot, parallel point, ambient. We are just going to choose a spotlight. You can choose what color you want. I'm going to leave mine as white right now. I click OK. And what this does is it creates a spotlight. This is my spotlight. You can see the different axis. The red you can see there is X. If I move over to the green, it turns into Y. If I go to blue, it's Z. So these are different axes that I can move. First, I'm going to move my X axis. You can see the light moves around. What this is, is it's acting as though everything inside of After Effects is dark until we add light to it. So I have this, I can move it around, and so I have my light. Just like other things in After Effects, I can add some motion. So let's say I want it to start over here on the side. I'm going to come down to my spotlight. I'm going to twirl it down. I'm going to go to Transform, and I am going to set the position, and I can also put the other rotations, let's say the X rotation, the Y, different things. So I have my keyframe set and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here a few seconds and I'm going to again go to my X rotation and I'm going to drag it across to the other side and you can see I now have these keyframes. I have the keyframes where the position uh, is and where the point of interest is. I have not rotated the X so it has stayed the same or there's not a new keyframe formed. Now if I play through this, you can see that the light moves. If it moves too slowly, I can select my keyframes. I can move them closer. I can also right click on the keyframes. And I can go to Keyframe Assistant and I can have it ease in, ease out, or easy in and out, which smooths out the motion. So this is a super basic understanding on how to add a light inside of Adobe After Effects, as well as how to add some motion. There are a lot more features that you can do to the light. If I twirl down, it says light options. I can come in here and I can change the type of light it is. Let me move this, my playhead back. So I can choose different types of light, which will affect how the light works. I can choose different things like the intensity of the light. I can modify that if I want it to go brighter, darker. I can choose the color of the light. Maybe I want to change the mood of what it is. And that will apply to everything in there. So there's a lot that you can do. Just explore and experiment and try different things. Once you're done, save your file. File save your name first light, save it, 
and then you're going to render this by going up to Composition, Add to Render Queue. You're going to choose the output file. In this case, I'm going to put on my desktop, your name, first light. And then you click on Render. This is the file that you will upload to Google Classroom.